Good morning, evening, and afternoon. How's it going, y'all? Believe it or not, um, my my voice is not doing too well uh, today. I woke up in the middle of the night, actually, and um, my throat was very, very sore. Still not sure what I'm, what uh, what's ailing me, but I know for certain that. Talking a lot is probably not that, not that helpful to, on, on like the path to recovery. So, I'm like, all right, um, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna stream today, I really can't be talking as much as I usually do. So, um, exclamation mark voice, um, if you're if you're curious as to how I'm going to be handling that, um, I think I I found a a fine alternative to 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 talking. So yeah. Probably be using my gestures a lot more than. Uh, By the way, how's it going? Um, low IQ and Annabelle, Hango, Sailor Peter with the five watch streak. What's up, man? Um, Dark Ruse, Deep Fried Whale on the pizza. How's it going? Not the interpretive dance, Greg? Why not? Should I just like turn my cam off then? And just go, just go no cam, no voice. Oh boy. That'll be a first actually for the stream. I've never done no cam no voice. Um so it'd be just you, me, and not my face, and not my voice, and uh the drum and bass liquid mix that's going on right now so <clears throat> all right anyways I, um one thing i did want to talk about right um i'll try to i'll try to go over this really really quickly uh did not expect demon hunter to be did not expect demon hunter to be on <clears throat> near the top here next to hunter um death knight i did kind of expect just just based on the two runs that I did uh, yesterday were <laughs> fairly well performing. Um, I kind of expected War did not be at 45%, interestingly enough. I thought the class was like fine. I, I didn't think it was that bad. Really? Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that's that sucks. Yeah. Anyways. Well, I'm glad that's happening. Also, good to know that internet service has gotten better since yesterday. That's really nice to know. Um, I'll probably have to. <clears throat> Call up uh, Spectrum again and complain, because that always works, right? Com complain to your ISP does does wonders. Very, very, uh, very effective. I I've come to find out. Um, okay, so why uh, <clears throat> why is Mage not doing well? Why is Mage not um, performing better than I thought? What happened? Maybe they don't have enough synergy. Maybe they're not getting enough Excavate. 
Exivate combos. Maybe that's the strongest thing they can do right now in this meta. So it's kind of like the last meta. Yeah. Wizbay Mage set kind of sucks. Hmm. Priest is last one. I drafted a Priest after a 0 3 DK, apparently. Well, I hope you, uh, you do better with, with the Priest than the win race suggests, Dark Roost. That's a. Uh... Mm. That's. Oh, boy. I mean, I've seen a lot of. I've seen a lot of priests um, on my on my way up with the Death Knight, and that might just be people wanting to play the class, and they don't know that it's really that bad. So, Dread says he struggled with Mage though, so I played Dread for Lonia. It's been great. <laughs> All the way down to 47%. What the fuck? Whoop. Okay. Sorry for... So, yeah, this screen doesn't have uh, sound effects. Um, sound effects active, fortunately. Sorry. Um, kind of interested in checking out why... Why Shaman Paladin and Demon Hunter Death Knight are... Uh, are at the top right now. So, I guess the Chums are still getting their Excavate nonsense off. They're still getting enough Elemental Synergy. Um, honestly, it looks like the same thing. It looks like the same thing that they're doing um, in the last meta. Just with extra, extra Elemental Synergy thrown in. Or extra Busted Spells thrown in, you know? So... Yeah, um, dude, incredible value has such a bad win rate. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, how's it going, Nomar? Wes, extra hut. Okay. Um, hmm. such a stupid dumb class herder, command and epsilon herder, value trade herder, evolve into send mana two two then concede. Yes, we've got command and epsilon back. Very cool. I'm I'm such a fan. I, I love five mana ten eight with initiative. It's it's excellent. I thought this shit was like the most busted thing when it came out. So much changes in, in like a year. Oh my god. Like, the power level just goes up. It multiplies exponentially now every every single year. It's crazy. Okay, so what's Paladin doing? Hmm. Oh, Excavate again? Okay, yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. Bannerman is back? Muckborn. I see a lot of Muckborns. I see a lot of Tiger's Plushes. I was thinking I should have a have a redeem involving the plushies again. Something something nice and non threatening. She's... What else are they doing? Oh yeah, Buffet Biggin is really is really apparent. I think I saw uh, somebody play like three of these against me. Maybe four. I think I still won though, because I'm Death Knight. C4 Savior is really good. Um, <clears throat> What else I get? Immortalize the Stone. Crafter's Aura. I've seen this a lot. I think I recently saw somebody play it against Doze. Not like 10 minutes ago, so. You know, Crafter's Aura. Popped out like a fucking shredder. <laughs> Reich's Defense, I see that. I've, saw, I've seen that a few times. Luther's Gifts has Equality, Consec, and Blessing. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Two years for Command and Eptron? I see. Hmm. Templar Captain's still in. Kind of gross. Um... 
Painter's Virtue, what is this? After hero attacks, you get... What the fuck? More hand buff? And it's on a 2-3 weapon? Holy shit. This card is insane. Oh my god. What the hell? All right, that's that's a, that's a nice card. Okay, uh, is there anything else I'm missing? Not really. Dark Plushie's pretty damn good though, right? Divine Shield, Life Steal, Rush, basically Ziliax times two. Yeah. Okay. Anyways. So hand buff stuff um, going on in Paladin a lot, I see. And Excavate. And Bronze Explorer. Gotcha. Alright, uh, what's up with Death Knight? In the last day. Not really anything different. Like, they got cool rule back, I noticed that. Quartet Crusher is fine. Um, Frost Strike has 60% win rate. Whoa, I haven't seen Const Record in a while. Holy shit, this thing is... This thing is back to 3 mana? And with 3 durability? Oh my god, that's so good. Wow, this card's nuts. Can you believe they increased the mana cost of this and decreased the durability? So stupid. <laughs> All right, what else? What else do they think? Oh yeah, Rainbow Seam just pretty good. Arthas Gift. Yeah. All right. Um, don't see a lot of Corpse Brides, huh? <clears throat> I think this is new. What is that? Given dead in your hand. Oh my god. Or hand buff. Hey, check it out. I get. I bet it'd be pretty good with this thing. Yeah. Yeah. Headless Horseman. Isn't Judge playing with one of these right now? Okay, has anybody seen the uh, Discover cards for... <clears throat> for the red and green? Like... What is that card called? Thaumaturge? I think it's called Thaumaturge. No? Hematurge. Okay, so it is actually draftable, huh? Are you sure? Maybe? Is it actually still draftable? That seems kind of low. Maybe this is like... Pre-existing decks. That would kind of make sense. Hmm. You're done with this game? Oh. Why? Um... The other card called um, everybody needs a casket. Mortician. <clears throat> yeah, zero zero times. Okay, so thankfully, thankfully, mortician and hematurge are not not able to be drafted, right? Thankfully. That means... That means that Death Knight is somewhat balanced. They thought about that to not include those Discover cards. <clears throat> okay. What about Demon Hunter? What brought this class all the way up? All the way up? Back from the bottom. This was lower than Priest. Illidari studies. Taste of Chaos being back. Midnight Wolf being in most decks. Ball Hog. I, I was watching Dose play with Ball Hog today. I was like, what the hell does this card do? And why is it always hitting a minion? Um, Like, he's not targeting anything. So I was like, okay. Is how <clears throat> what 
Why is does it only hit minions? But no, it's lowest health enemy. Which basically means a minion. You got three wins with a bat with a sixty percent winner class. Do you know how bad that is? Well, I mean, it's a new meta, man. You should expect to you know run into some variants, even if a class is supposedly like the best. It's not outside the realm of possibility to underperform with it. It's also not outside the realm of possibility to overperform with a class that has, you know, sub 50% win rate. And that happens a lot, so. Um, I don't know, man. Just don't, don't let it bother you that much. It, it, it's, just, it's just one run, man. Um... Okay, so they get Netherwalker back too. Oh, they get a lot of their they get a lot of their um, cards that were nerfed are now like unnerfed and they're back in the meta. So, like cards like this, I think this card was was this four damage? Was it four damage? Was this always? A five mana six four. I'm not sure. Wow, Illidari at forty two percent decks is kind of crazy. Um, Priestess Beery six mana seven mana six seven. Um, what's this? Two random demons discovered. Oh my god. Oh, that's pretty good too. Holy shit! Discover two demons. Jesus. Slave Shark is back, really good. Crow's Nest Lookout is back, really good. Umpire's Graphs, that card seems pretty good. Um, what else? Workshop Mishap. Deal 5 to a minion, excess damages both neighbors, gain lifesteal. Okay, so it's like a combustion, right? So positioning is, a, is, is an important thing against Demon Hunters. I see. Alright. Oh. Hmm. Six five minute shrine seems good. What is that? What's a six five oh? <clears throat> Battle cry discover a demon set its stats and cost to its minions. All that? How does that work? I mean, so okay. Um, what do you want to be looking for then with this one? Five mana, six five. Five mana, disc five, six five. Discover. Void Hound is in. I don't know. Dude, Bibliomite is back. Oh my god, love this card. This card's so so freaking good. <laughs> Demon Earth the class that Yo-Yo is between being amazing and garbage. Yeah, it all depends on what what cards are given, right? It all depends. Um, what is this? Why do you think Drew does well? Hey, how's it going, Crimson Shack with a three watch three? Um, I don't. I mean, the stats definitely don't don't uh, think that they're doing well. So, what's the deal? Why are they doing? Why are they at forty five percent? Spine Tail Drake, Raid Negotiator. They get they're doing like the same thing as the last meta. I I see like no cards here that that make that much of a difference from how you would previously build a dragon druid. Oh, wait. Emerald Explorer is back. Okay. So. Um, it's still not even that good, right? Six mana, four, eight. Discover. Is not really that good. Especially when the pool, the dragon pool is so wide. It's, it's quite bad. Yeah, I, the win rate makes... 
the win rate makes sense why it's not even like considered very good like look at that look at that it's it's not that good hmm. hey tony uh you went 12 yesterday i did i did not with druid but i went 12 with death knight that's a good class okay um all right one more class to look at why is hunter doing well Mester Buzzard, Twisted Frostwing, Macaw, Carrying Studies. Uh, basically just stats, right? Basically stats. Patrick Pals seems like the new um the new Tremors card. And man, this this win rate, holy shit. Wow. 65% draw and win rate. Tremors has a 63% win rate. Holy shit. Um, oh yeah, Wild Seeds are back. So, all those got unnerfed. Um, yeah, Wild Spirits has a 68% win rate. Wait, where's the draw win rate on this? Yeah. Hydraldon is at the top. Erlon summons all the, all the busted Wild Seeds. Like the wild seed stuff is like right all here. It's it's pretty apparent that this is why, um, certain certain like this class could be easily considered the best. So yeah. Night Elf Huntress does really well in this class. Apparently, maybe this car is just like really good everywhere. I think I played it with. I think I played with it in my warrior deck, but I mean it was warrior. I I don't um it didn't really have that much synergy. Nostalgic Gnome has a pretty high win rate, surprisingly. Flat damage is obviously going to finish a lot of games. RC Rampage. What? Okay. So, what's the sweet spot for this card? What's the sweet spot for RC Rampage? Maybe summon three? Does it matter? Summon four, they get plus two, plus two. Four mana, yeah, four three threes or three. Three four fours, it's like the same, yeah. So it's it's like twelve twelve with the stats. Um, as long as you're not summoning all all the hounds, right? Yeah. As long as you're giving the buffs, as long as you're giving a buff, it should be good. Star power OP. What is this? <clears throat> After hero attack, summon a 1-1 one, one hound. Wow. Uh, okay. That sounds good to me. Um, Summon initiate has a 63% win rate. Very interesting. Uh, Terror scale stalker. <laughs> Death rattles. I saw I saw dose go off with like, um, <clears throat> you know, Terror scale stalker. Shot from the mountain top. No, not Terror scale stalker. Uh, shot from the mountain tops. The one that triggers the death rattle twice. Um, this is King Plush deck. I was, I was, uh, lurking for my, for my drops. I was like, oh man, King Plush. I looked away when he, um, when he played with, when he played King Plush, like the only time that run, I looked away and I was like, damn it, I missed, I missed the animation. Ah, so, I don't know. Hopefully I get to see the animation, like, at some point, but... Yeah. Okay. Um Yeah, this class just has stats, huh? Is I think I think this is just it. it, it this this class has so many so many good stats for the cost. And Messenger Buzzer just compounds all that so hard. It's I I I think this is just I think it's just like spam your hand. And pull off, 
pull off death rattle combo with uh Mr. Buzzard and one of the one of the Prockers and that's that's probably the game. Yeah. It's interesting. Also, cheese the game with Spear Poacher. Does uh does make sense also. Like, holy shit. This <laughs> do you do you see this number? Like this is a rare. This is a rare card with a 67% drawn win rate. Oh my god. I <laughs> I don't know, man. The hunters are out of control with these uh with these wild seeds. They're out of control with their um what is it? Their buzzard nonsense. Do you remember when Yodeler was like a mid card? When it was when it first came out? I remember contemplating I, I remember um like whether I would play Hunter or Death Knight if this card would be good enough to put in the deck at the time, let like it was last in the meta. And now it's just like yeah, you pick this every every single time because death rattles are pretty ridiculous. Um, any death rattle you can get off is ridiculous with 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 the with the, this thing and the two drop that procs as well. So I don't know. Oh, call the wilds in! Holy shit! Eight mana call the wild. Oh shit! I love it. Nice, you nice. All right, well, I think I've had enough. Uh, I've had enough looking at looking at the stuff there. Anyways, uh, exclamation mark voice. We're gonna pin this one. I'm gonna pin that one. All right. So, I really, I really don't want to push my my boys too much. Hmm. Really surprised you made it through all that analysis without a nuts a person with three previous messages battering you to draft. <laughs> Y'all have y'all y'all have uh some etiquette that I'm very I'm very um impressed by. Y'all know how it how it usually works around here, so I thank you for your patience and um allow for allowing me to um analyze what what the heck is happening in arena right now through like a numbers a numbers perspective so yeah um it's been a while since i since i was able to do that um just because we haven't had a new meta for so long i'm just like yeah all right this is i think a, another good time to catch up on like win rates and offering rates and stuff like that um, would probably be a week from now, um, when the data is a lot more settled. So, right now we can kind of infer that, yeah, Hunter's pretty busted, and Demon Hunter, considering it only took them, like, a day to get from the bottom of, the bottom of the, the bottom of the win rate chart to, like, second, probably means it, it might be a few percentage points off of where it'll settle. Um, I think it'll go a little bit higher. So, yeah. The analysis is nice. I didn't get to see any card pieces since the expansion. I, I haven't either. I, I usually... I, 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 don't, I, I don't like um, doing card reviews myself. Uh, just because... It's 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 a lot of talking, right? 
It's a lot of talking. It's a lot of um. It's it's basically just a lot of talking. I don't know. Um. I I feel like it's it's just better to uh. Go in go in as fresh as possible into into a new a new expansion, right? Um. Like from from a strategic standpoint, um, how how does analyzing a card, how does analyzing a card ahead of time for arena improve my odds of winning? Does it improve it by like a couple percentage points, maybe? Hmm. I was really into like card views and stuff back when, back when this game was, uh, back when I back when I played constructed actually um, was when I was more into how I how what people thought of like the next upcoming cards, but since I don't play that mode anymore, I'm like, why do I why why would I why would I be watching um, card reviews then if I'm not playing that mode? Hmm. Hey, how's it going, Nomo? I can just tell you which cards are good anyway. Yeah, that's true. All right, so I'm gonna play on NA today. Mage, Demon Hunter, and Shaman. All right, are you interested in this Demon Hunter class? I'm I'm kind of interested. I'm kind of into it. Do I have 500 wins with with Arana? Hmm. It's a social hype building thing. Hmm. Look at Zygo trying to drag me into the into the 47% win rate class right now. <laughs> Dog. Do you know how good this class is? There is music everywhere, even here. Cole spent 12 with a demon herd like an hour ago. Ah, uh. all right. Well, Zygo, tell me that that mage is better than demon hunter without any emoticons, and I'll believe you, or maybe I'll believe you. I don't think you can. And find me one person that will back you up on that claim. <laughs> okay. Um, how's it going, Psych? Alright, uh, I'm gonna play this class. There is music everywhere. Even here. But yeah. Um Westman two twelve wins with mate last night. Yeah, okay. I I kinda remember that. Kinda remember some uh something like that getting getting communicated across. Alright. Well, I want this class because it says discover a demon, and demons seem to be very good right now. Also, this class, is, it's I don't know. Um, if it has the good cards, it's it's like pretty fun. And the games with like Illidoris and shit. What's their legendary choice? I wonder. Pirate. Here's it. Here's it. Sussy, thanks so much for following. How's it going? Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm What about Karia? Now that good demons are in the meta right now, maybe Karia is okay. Huh. Oh. Okay. 
I'll check it out. Well, I almost clicked on Carex. Holy shit. I was like, oh, I'm over here. Yeah. All right. Um, legendary. Are there only four that were offered? Dude, Stone Hearth Brew? Wait, do you only get like four things offered or what? Ain't no way. Um, Ritz Caria. What the fuck? What? Where is it? Has nobody picked it on this website? What the fuck? Alright, anyways. KJ? This card has each card uh, something innocence, right? <laughs> each card of Pope Aguish. If it's KJ. Hmm. Yeah. The pin the pin in chat will will tell you. Let's take KJ. Wind slice. Lave gun adept. It has to be this one, I think. This card is ridiculous, I think. Yeah. Hmm. It better depth has a fifty six percent win rate. What about twin slice? Fifty three. Blade Lady? Oh. It's like Crow's Nest is good. What is that? Three mana, two, three poisonous. Draw a minion. <laughs> oh my god. Draw a minion, huh? A rush minion. Is that card, like, good? It has a pretty high win rate. I think I want it, actually. The win rate kind of favors the plucky here. I kind of want to play with the new card. I think in Demon Hunter, this card should be pretty good, right? Any card that cycles and is basically, like, a kill spell on a stick is good like okay if this card were <laughs> if this card were venomous scorpid would you take it over crow's nest Right now, the win rate favors the pluckies. <clears throat> with the with the day's worth of data that we have, plucky Pavement has um, has a little bit of an edge. Wolves also. That's also true. Oh shit! All right, I want this. I want this. Hey, speaking of Scorpid, what's up, man? Anywho, good to see you, buddy. All right. Um, yeah, these things need to be gold. Yeah. Wolves need to be gold. I'll make two.
you can't have a pair of wolves. You can't have Midnight Wolf as only one goal to copy, right? It's it's for it's for flavor purposes that I make two golden copies. What is this? What is that? Spectral side versus lesser opal. Hmm. Lesser opal has a pretty high win rate. It's okay. Let me take that. Scarab. Wild Fiend. It's a rush minion. I don't know if I want um want the Wild Fiend. The Scarab keychain seems kinda good, huh? Your best high rolls for sure. Wow. Win rate favors Scarab by a little bit, by like a percentage. Uh, Alright, I'll take the new card. Coil, Coil Fang Warlord. Crimson and Famished Fool. All pretty decent draw options for us. Coil thing is okay. <clears throat> uh, Famished. Famished has a pretty low win rate. I don't know, but it's like a day's worth of data. I'll take Coil thing. It's a decent rush card. Death Row minion costs four less. Um, not really anything right now. Um, oh. There's that one card. There's that one card, uh, the ball hog card. I don't know if I want to even summon that, but it's probably just Bone Mare. I don't think I'd really think I don't think this card's necessary, but we're already getting pretty heavy, right? There's a problem with uh, <laughs> drafting a heavy. A heavy de demon hunter deck because you want to be outcasting things like if i i'm not able to midnight wolf because i have a bone mare blocking my hand then <clears throat> i don't know man night elf is pretty good what is this Elbrage is nice. Chaos Strike is kind of nice. Chaos Nova is board clear. Hmm. Yeah, let's go Dando. Dando. You want a 20 mana card? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, sure. Uh, pick the card that has like a fifty nine percent win rate. All right, who's this? Uh, Spear Jailer or Illidari Fellblade? <laughs> oh God! All right. Low curve or hmm, potential potential five damage immunity. It's kind of strong. Hmm. 